What's up guys, it's Fokabob once again and welcome back to the video. Today we're going to go straight into using Adobe XD to design our website. But thing is that if you don't have Adobe XD, I would recommend you go online and download it. It's, it's free to use from, on their website, so you can just go online quickly and download it. If you don't have it, get it and I'll wait for you. If you have it, let's jump straight into the video. So I have, I have it already opened down here. As you can see, I'm already in here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new project and then it's simple. I can just start by clicking with this. Then when it comes to this, um, coding the website, I code with mobile view in mind first and then I scale it up to for desktop. And when I'm designing, I design for desktop first and then scale it down to mobile view. Yeah. Okay, so I click on it straight away. Alright, so I have it ready. I'm going to full screen everything here. Now, first of all, before we learn anything, if you hold your space bar, make sure you have a mouse. I have a mouse here, if you can see. It's a good mouse, a friend gave it to me. Mercy, shout out. He gave me this mouse. You can hold your space bar and then you click and then you move the app. So it's like an app board where you can have multiple stuff on it. If you hold your space bar and move your app board, wherever you click, you can just move around. And I like it. This kind of movement makes everything. You can just move and then that's it. You can scroll like this. Alright, you can also use your scroll button up and down to move up and down like this. If you hold shift and you scroll up and down, it goes the other way, it goes laterally. And then if you hold control and also scroll, what is that? It zoom in and zoom out so you can get all those things. It's very, very, very seamless. Adobe XD for me was my even introduction is one of the Adobe suits. I got it here first before I got into Photoshop and then Illustrator. And then, yeah, Lightroom and continue. So this is it. This is how to move around quickly. And then uh, you can also hold shift by uh, alt, but I'll we'll look at that one later. The first thing I'm going to do is that if you look at the website once again, let me go to a uh, full screen. Mode. We have our side nav here, and then we have this here. So I'm just going to divide it quickly, and then I'm going to go straight to it. So I'm just going to press R for my rectangle, or you can click here and get your R rectangle. I'll just hold it this way, and then I'll drag it all the way here. Then I'll take my point select to you can press V. Trust me, if you have one hand on the mouse, it's always good to have your other hand on the keyboard. It makes working here very simple, faster, and you don't have to be using your mouse to be clicking around. And that means you have to learn shortcuts. They are the way around. You, with time, beginning, it's kind of, it, it takes time. You practice, you keep doing, and then before you know, it, it's second nature. You don't even think about it, you're doing it. I don't think about it, I'm doing it. So I can hold press V and then I just select my select tool I can come and click here. It has snap to grade on by default, so that's it. When, when I'm moving and then it, it just snaps and I like it like that. So I'm going to come here. Now when you come here, these are the align items. By default, it's aligned to the artboard, alright? But then we'll look at how to align to a selection. We'll look at that one later. So we have the weight, the height, X and Y, and then just like all those things. Now you can flip it, you can flip it around. And then you can also, in case you, you go to prototype, you can look at how to fix the position when you are scrolling. That's if you want to come down here these are the border radios we'll look at how to use that one because there's lots of border radios in our way and then we have the fill so yeah if you come fill you can choose between solid colors if i choose red you see it's filling it with red you can move um, around there if i choose green it's filling it with green very 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 nice and then also if i have gradient i have linear gradient where you can choose the gradient like this there's not a crash course on how to use xd but then i just feel like i have to just go by this one to kill because we're going to be using this a lot we have the gradient like that but then we also have angular gradient all those things i'm just going with solid color and then the color i'm actually going for is and um, for some a little dark almost white gray like this yeah something like that and then I'll, if i want to add these colors to my document i just have to click on the plus here and then it's still for me if next time i don't have to go and think about it I just click it from here and I'm good. The weight is actually too much. I'm making some, I think 470 should. Yeah, 474 four should do. You can adjust the weight here. I'm going to limit it as 470 for now. And then it has the border on, so I'll just take the border off here like that. Yeah, there are a lot of options here. We'll, we'll, we'll dive into them as we move forward. Now, if you look at, let me have the website so you, you have a look at it. So you can see what's already here. And the next thing is, let's look at how to get an avatar. So you can press E on your keyboard or come and click the ellipse tool here. And now when you come and you click and you start dragging, you, can, you get to draw your ellipse tool. You get to draw a circle or oval or ellipse here. I'm going to delete it with, by pressing my delete button. If you hold shift and you drag, you get a circle. Alright, so I'm just going to do that. And then, I want it to be fixed in between just like i want it to be centered here and the way i can do that i can just move it and then as you can see here it's actually centered but if it is here all i can do is click on a circle hold shift and click on this rectangle here like this now the two of them is selected then i can press 
here for you to align each other. So you, as you can see, the two of them are aligned center. If I click here, you see, you see what's happening. Yeah, only the selection. That's not what I want. If I only click this and click in the middle here, it aligns to the canvas. And that's what I'm looking for. So I'm just going to bring it here like this. And hold shift and click here and then press to extend it aligned in the middle for me this way. I'm going to actually move it up a little bit. So now let's look at how to get an image in here. I already have this um, pictures already downloaded when I was creating the site initially. But this is where I got them from. You can go online and then you can type um, on splash on splash.com and then you can have um you can yeah you can just get access to free stock and um, images like they're for free so you can come here um identify a picture you want like this just click download and just like that it downloads and then um, i'm going to be going to this picture that we just downloaded yeah so it goes to my download i come down here i can just open here like this scroll all the way up that's the image there and make sure you have this selected because i want this to fit into that I'm just going to drag it and drop it in like this and yeah now as you can see it has not really aligned the way i want it to so i'm just going to double click on it like this then i move the picture just how, how about how i want it somewhere let me see um, yeah let me zoom in so if i zoom in this way yeah and i click on it i can bring it down there and then here yeah yeah, well, yeah that's fine as you can see yeah as simple as that but if you look at the original, we had this border going around. And then as you can see the circle, there's also a border. And you can just take away the border exactly. Make it like that. And then I'm going to draw another circle once again to give that outline that we just gave in the other one. Hold it this way. And then I'm going to select my select tool. Bring it all this way here. And then I'm going to bring this ellipse behind the image so I can have access to the image. And I'll hold shift and select this image. And I'm going to align both of them together. So, yeah, this way and then this way. And what is that? This image, this other circle I have behind there. I'm going to come here and I'm going to see. If, I'm going to check the fill out. So there will be no fill in it. I only want border. And the border, I'm going to increase the border to somewhere around six six pixels for the color. This is our primary color. It's going to be 0466C8. Yeah, that's the blue that we are going to be using here. I think it's too thick, so I'm just going to reduce the size of the yeah so something like yeah that's fine and then maybe i should even reduce the whole size i'm going to hold shift and just i'm going to hold alt and i'm going to hold shift and i'm going to drag in yeah exactly what alt happens is that i'm going to make sure i drag it in from all angles towards the middle dragging or expanding or whatever the thing towards the middle of the thing or away from the middle so yeah that's pretty much as simple as it can be let's add our navigation button i'm just, just going to take my test to to this writing test I just click on it, you can hold press T or you can come and click on it here and I'm just going to click anywhere and just type home like that now we have so many options, you can just hold and drag like this and then you have your whole area where you can just input the test as you want but obviously that's not what I'm going for so this here, I'm going to press V to select my select tool bring it all the way here come here and check the font that I want so I want Oswald as my base font and then I want it to be bold Yep, and then the like font size, I want somewhere around 25, 25, 25 to use kind of small, so I'm going to say 30. Yep, 30, and then for the color, I think the color is just as supposed to be. Now, I want it centered, so I'm going to click on this, it's already selected, I'm going to hold shift and select this area here, to select this tool, and I'm going to come here and click this to align them to the, align the whole to the middle, quickly. And then I hold this out, out on your keyboard, yeah, that one. If I hold it and drag you see i've duplicated it and i'm moving the duplicate you see so i can take it anywhere and drop it anywhere then that is it just like copying and paste but much much nicer so i'm going to do control z to undo that i'm going to hold alt and then shift that way when i'm duplicating it's going to move in almost like straight line so it's either this way or um yeah it's there you see so i get to move it somewhere here double and i'm going to call this one about me so about me like this quickly i'm going to hold this i'm going to get how many copies i'm going to create like four copies hold shift and alt again drop another one and then finally let me see one two three four five six yeah 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 and then drop this one here so i'm going to call this one about me it's going to be uh books i'm going to call this one books i'm going to call this one um, education i'm going to call this one contact me 
contact screen like this so i have to have everything um, aligned with the one select all like this and then also select the rectangle and then come all the way here and select this for everything to align neatly now as you can see the padding of the space the margin in between these ones this is 28 i hold alt and then select this to see the um, space in between the two of them and then that's 28 so i'm just going to move this one up a little bit as you can see they're showing me i think this is probably too much let me make it 15. yeah then i can also if, if you hold shift it's going to move it to 10 so if i move it like this let me hold alt and compare this that's 18 so i just have to go one two three and then alt to so that 15. so i click here 15 click here 15. So then hold here move 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 in there and then alt compare 18 so i move one two three and then also here once again i'm going to move one two three four five six yeah so i compare 18 so i just move one two three and i'm probably done with all, all of this i'm not really going to add anything special to it this is as um, simple as it can be and then as we uh, the next thing that we had on our website on the website was the social media icons just look at how to add them quickly and then we'll be on our way now the thing is that my icons you can just go online and search for the any icon you want and you're going to get the icon that you want but then i actually use font awesome font awesome is a very um i just say font awesome like this just like it font awesome comes quickly you go on there so when i come to font awesome i'll just click here like this and search for the icon that i want so i want um let me see facebook quickly it comes on the f so i just click on this like this different but then there's this download you see download svg file that's what i'm actually looking for if i click on it like this you see it has saved here i don't want it anymore i want instagram now instagram so you have options i want this one i'll download the svg of that too and then finally i want um twitter clicking like that click on it and then also download the twitter now close now you see i already have the um, um files my download files here so i can actually drop just drag and bring them here but first of all let me create the ellipses that i'm going to be using so if i hold shift once again and then drag i have a perfect circle here i'll take away the border actually i need the border i bring the border back <laughs> i need the border if you look at the original one the border was just like the um was this dark gray color that we already have here i'm going to add that color so that i, I just don't have to think in the time and then i'm going to give the border of like let me say yeah around um, four pixels let me see five four four is perfect and then i have that border down to so come back here now i can bring my uh, first one was fade so i just drag fit don't drop it in any of these items otherwise it will fit into that item so i want it to drop somewhere here you see so it comes here neatly now I want to size it down and anytime I'm sizing I have to hold shift that can be um, um, stressful at times considering I'm going to be shift, um, changing the size very often what I'll do is I'll just come over here as you can see transform we have the width and we have the height and then this lock here I click on the lock aspect ratio so that way now um, if I transform all the it's already it's always locked so I don't have to worry about that if not for this lock and I try transforming it can transform in, in various ways I don't want that to so control the then i'll lock it then i can just actually transform me and bring it here um, i hold control and scroll my, my this one just to zoom in and hold my space bar and click shift it here this way and bring this one here what i'm going to, I'm going to just going to bring it down hold all so that it, it resizes towards the middle bring it here hold shift once this one is selected i'm going to hold shift and select this as well and then i'm going to um, come here and align this to fit in the middle to so this middle here and then this middle and finally click on my f once again and change the color to this color yep let me see how it looks yeah it looks cool once again i'll take the fill of this one so it doesn't have to have that white as well so you see this is as simple as again i'm just going to click the circle hold alt hold shift because i want to duplicate it but in make sure it's around the same place i'm going to drag it here like this yeah and I'm going to bring my Twitter in same process. I bring Instagram here. I drop my Instagram. Instagram is here. I'll lock the aspect ratio. Hold um, Alt and drag towards the middle. Zoom in. I'm going to zoom in quickly. I want my Instagram selected. Yeah. So I'll bring my Instagram here and then I'll drag it out a little bit and make it bigger. Change the color if I forget. Yeah, then hold this, hold the circle, and then I'm going to align it quickly, neatly like that. 
the same process again for the sweater guys trust me how, how is it going just let me know in the comment section how it feels because designing can be fun trust me it's it's fun when i'm doing it i i do it and then i don't talk about where i get my inspirations here maybe i'll do that in another video but designing is actually fun when i'm because everything you are going to be doing um it, it's just nice it's just nice trust me and then what even makes it nicer is after you have got all these designs done you are able to bring this to life that is crazy i'll lock the aspect ratio here is um hold or drag it in um you know, drag this one here so i'm going to move this twitter video to twitter um logo here click zoom in so that i can have a closer look hold shift and select the circle this way and then i'm going to click here to align them both middle and center and guys that's it we have our side navigation um down here now the thing is that if you look at this there is the artboard okay when you have it it's like this yeah when you have it first they're only showing you the web but then i'm designing so then i want to have all the web page on it so what i do is i select the artboard you can come and select this artboard by clicking the web like this it is here or you can select on any empty space by double clicking and then you get to drag it down yes because they are going to be expanding yeah all right now let's get straight away the home page was quite simple i just take my t-test like this and i'm going to have i'll click somewhere around here and just say i am i am full stop and then i click again i'm going to say i am somewhere somewhere yeah and then what i do i'll, I'll press vein to, for my select to click this one and then the other fonts i'm using aside as well as um, poppins this is a very nice font I, I, I really love this font and then it fits very well with um, this one i'm not taking bold i'm going for regular you can click for the drop down then select the one you want i'll take regular in this case and the font size should be somewhere i think uh let me say 25 yeah that's cool or let me just say 30 30 should do it and then there's some more if i click and drag it you see how it just became big yeah that's another trick yeah and then i'll have this one somewhere here and then i'll change the somewhere to let me say the color the fill to somewhere i want black yeah and then i also want this color to be black i probably should add black here so i, I don't have to be dragging around like that and the thing is that when i'm um, coding i'm going to have everything um, closed in a container mostly if you come here if you come to view and then it should show and um, show layout grid it does it for you this way this is what i mostly use then i make sure i have this space space you have on the side here the flanks here as um, maybe just white space yeah to have but in, because of this design and the way things are we have this side nav in here i won't be able to use this i'll still need them but then i'll really use them later. so i can come back to view and then turn it um, hide layout grid i'm going to paste my own grid so i'm just going to come this way and then i'm going to drag something just over it like this i'll change the color to make it a bit darker so i can see where i'm actually dealing with and then i'll take the borders of it so what i do is i'll just keep it somewhere here and then i'll drag it down so i'm going to keep all my design within this container yeah and then also yeah yes you know i bring it to the bottom somewhere everything should be on top of it now i am somewhere i'm going to zoom in i'll drag it this way some all over somewhere here yeah and i'll um, take my test again and then i'll drag here i just want some dummy test i need to say lauren ipsim i'm going to copy and paste it as many times as i want so control c and then control v v v just keep pushing keep pasting them like that when i'm done i just click here drag it out a little bit this way and then realize when i drag the end some of the test is sitting so this red thing can be sure that some of the test is sitting so you can just drag it out to let them show i actually delete some of the test i don't want all of that i'll delete this then i can just drag this back here now let's create our button and then we are probably on our way somewhere yeah i'll bring this one down i think it's too high yeah and then i'll bring this one just here as well just to make sure it fits neatly and then to create my button i'm just going to bring um, um, a square a nice rectangle this way and when i come here i'm going i'm taking away the borders for now and then i'm changing the color to our blue 
a blue that we should have saved we didn't save or just sample it here you can sample it by just coming here clicking if you are here you can just click here straight away and you can come and then you can come and sample your color like blue like that yep and this time i make sure i press to add it to my colors i come all the way back here now i'm going to zoom in when you zoom in you do see this tiny little circles in here this is what helps you control your border radius as you can see I just drag them in and I'm controlling my border radius. Or you can come and set your border radius here to let me say 41 as we saw. And then that's it. You see, that's your border radius. And then if you want to um, have different border radius for different, so this um, the first value here controls the border radius for you. If I set that one to if I set that one to zero to zero, you can see what happened. That side had no border radius. So you see, they are all one. I'm going to keep it that way for now. And I'll bring it here. Also, to I'm going to add um, the border to it as I did. I'm going to make the color of the border white. Yep. And then I'm going to change the size to three pixels. And also I'm going to add a drop shadow. Now, drop shadow has these three values here. This is um, the shadow on the x axis, on the y axis, and this is the blur. And then if you click on it, you get to choose the color that you want for the shadow. I'm going to take something like something. Um, I'm going to take this color here, but then I'm going to bring it all the way down and all the way down somewhere like here and i'm going to drop the opacity down or the opacity all the way down so i'm going to have something like around here this way and then here you can have anything you want for your um your drop shadow now we are not really seeing the nice things. i'll just take away this um container that we have here it will, it will be very handy when we go to the other sections i'm going to zoom in here this way yeah and then that is no i think i'll make this one come down a little bit and then yeah i'll press t for my um, type 2 i'm going to click here and i'm just going to say download cv C cv yeah like this and then i'll change the color of um that to white and then i'll change the font it's already popping so i want it bold yep i want it a little bit bold and i want the size to be empty 25 in this case yeah when I'm done, I'll press V to get back my select tool and then I'm going to click this. It's already selected, so I'll select, hold shift and select this and come here and make sure they are um, aligned perfectly in the middle. And I'm probably done. If you go to our website and you have a look at it, it's just as simple as it gets. You don't have to really stress a lot. It's a neat, simple website. So I'm probably done with the homepage, but I'm not really satisfied. I'll select everything here. And then move it down a little bit. I think I feel it should move. I'm gonna hold shift so that it doesn't have to go left or right. It can only go up and down in this case. And then I'll bring it down a little bit somewhere here. Should be fine. Yeah. And then let's continue with our about page. So I'm gonna bring this one up so that I know the container I'm, um, I'm dealing with in here. Zoom in. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna create this um, this thing we see here. This about us here. We're gonna create it. I think it should be simple. Let me see how we can go about it quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, take my type to click anywhere and just type about us like this. Get back to my type, um, my select to the color. The, for, the color is white, obviously. You want black. I'll take black and it's, it says bold. So I'm going to say, I don't want bold. I want rather, I want something and um, I want light. Yeah, I want it to be light. And I want a font size to be, I think 25 is just perfect. Just like that. And I'm going to zoom in. As you can see, it looks simple. It looks very neat. And it's there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it here this way. And come into my rectangle to select it like this. Drag it something very small like this. You can play with the height here when you come here. I can just drop the height like this to 6. And then I'm good. As you can see, there's a border around it. I'll take away the border. And I'll change the color of that's to um, let me see let's, let's prefer it was blue first so i'll put blue in here zoom in once again press v press v to get my this my two here and i'll move it underneath it quickly i think it should come this way a little bit let me see how it looks yeah and also i would like to have it yeah i think this test also i would like to also increase the space so i can increase the spacing here Yes, yeah, so I'm going to increase the character spacing or letter spacing here to let me say if you try five, you don't really see anything. But if you if you exaggerate, you can click here 
and drag it up and down this and adobe what adobe gives you so i, I want somewhere with, between yeah 73 is perfect and then i can move this one here i'll hold shift hold alt and then drag it down to get a black and i'll reduce the height of this one neatly like this and then i'll change the color all the way to black and then i probably have that done so that with that done let's get straight in into it now what i want to do is i want to create um, this thing i want to create here and i want to create here so here is for the test and here is for this images that i have here to create a test well it's as simple as it goes first thing i like to do i like to just map things out so i'm just going to um, draw two boxes nice boxes this way hold um, um vein to select my select tool hold shift and then alt and then control the hold shift alt shift and then drag it all the way there this way yeah neatly like that what i like i think um, i should increase it by a little bit let me see so i'll just increase this one to six ten six twelve I think make it 30 that should be fine and also make this one 630 yeah yeah that should be right now if i come this way i'm going to have my images here and i'm going to have my test here so for the image let me tackle that one later for the test i'll just hold um, t and just type here the first one said who am i it says who am i and then the font as we saw was um, Oswald so I just come quickly type Oswald enter it was bold so I have bold and then I'll, I'll make it the character size to be 30 and then the letter spacing I think it's taking effect here to be zero yeah drop that one quickly and then I'll bring this one here and the next is holding test T again and then dragging out and then coming to fill in with just some dummy test so I just say, um, let me just drag this way and I'll say uh, Lauren, Lauren is seen and then type my name, take my name is Cabral, Kofi Sako, yeah like that, quickly. Once I'm done, I'll just um, control C, vein, 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 just paste it, paste it, paste it, keep pasting. And when I come here this way, I can just change the font size all to poppins. Okay, that don't need to take effect. So I just poppins quickly. Um, I want regular. And then I want the font size to be 25. Quickly like that. And what else can I do? What else can I do? What else can I do? I think that's it. But then you see, let me just size it down so that it fits here. Thank you very much. This way. The next thing is to get the images that we, we had on the website. Now this image is, is not a single image. It's actually three images that we've put together here. And we're going to learn how to do that using the XT. So what I'm going to take is the pen tool. So I'll take the pen tool this way. Come all the way. Let me see. I'll start from here. This way. Click here. Hold shift. I'm going to drag. Let me zoom in a little. Hold shift somewhere here this way. And then click. Let me see. It's all about clicking. So I click this way. And then I just come all the way here. Let me see, now that's not enough. Let me control it. I'll click somewhere around. Um, let me see here. And then I'll hold shift to get 45 degrees angle. But that might look too much. So I'll just, um, let me just see control Z. I'll click somewhere around, let me see here. And then hold 45 degrees angle like this. Okay, and come here this way like this. And then click here. And then hold shift for a straight line so that it doesn't go up or down like this. And then I'm going to click this way and then I'll click back here and I'm done. One shape is done. But to be told, I want this one to move. So I just um, take my select tool and move this one a little bit. And as you can see, I'm, it's kind of great. So it's actually um, um, a fully fledged um, um, image um, shape right now. You can see this happening all over here. But I'm not done. I'm going to take my pen tool again and I'm going to click um, here, interception, click here next, also click um, here next, click here and bring it back, oh no, and bring it back here. So another fully fleshed shape 
I, I'll change the color so that you realize what has happened. Let me put a blue in there quickly. I'll take my pen tool again, but you can press P to get it straight away. I'll click here, click here, click here. I'm just you know the pen tool is one of the tools that when you do am um, able to learn it very well. You can like you can create so many shapes and do whatever you want. Play around. You can create so many nice stuff. Click here and then I'm going to click here. I'm actually running. I think I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I'll change the color of this one to maybe say something like this. So you actually see what's happened. So I have my select tool this one. I can just drag this one down a little bit so it snaps. It wasn't snapping other time. All right. Now what I'm going to, I'm going to put um, different images in here. So I'll start with the one in the middle. I'll go to my download. So once again, you can go to Unsplash to get all the images. But then I already have the images. So I'm just going to drag and drop them in here. So I'll start with the middle one was the guy who was thinking, where are you? Thinking guy, here you are. You can double click on it and then drag and fix it where you are. Like that. And then I'll come here, select this one. And then next thing I'm going to have, uh, let me see, I want this water. Yeah, I want this. More one. Yeah, and drop it in there. So you see, it's nicely done like that. Um, um, let me take another image. I'll take this waterfall and, uh, okay, yeah, and drop it in it. And then that's it. So you can obviously look at it and adjust it how you want it. I just want it somewhere like this. And um, zoom in, in and then zoom it out this way. And then that is it. So this is um, simply creating this nice college here. I'm going to move this. And once again, I'll drag this one down. I'll drag this one here and take away the square behind my test. So I have it neatly done this way. Also, I'm going to go here, hold shift shift select this one like this and then move them hold shift and just press so that they just move to the side this way quickly 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 and then i'm probably done with this particular section now the next thing is to put i am um, my the gallery that we um saw i'll double click here and so i can extend it because we're going to be having i need more space okay i'm going to also extend this one down quickly here and then when i do come here i'm not going to write um any heading as gallery i'm just going to um create three boxes. I'm going to take my R this way, draw this, then select two. So I'm going to have this like this. Let me see. Like that. Hold shift, hold control, drag this one out like this. Hold shift, hold control, drag this one out like this. I think I, I can I can do better. Delete this one. Drag this and bring this one. Let me see. Here. Delete this. I hope it just goes. If not, we'll have to for something in yeah it didn't go okay that was too big so i'll reduce this one a little bit just like this reduce one a little bit just like this too and then bring this one to fit in also reduce it a little bit and then i'll make sure i want to make sure they are they will fit so i'll just come this way hold alt and compare that's 11 pixels here and then 23 pixels here. So if i just press shift move here now I'll compare i have 21 here and then i have 13 here ah. Or I could just click this one to center it. But that'll be wrong. That'll be wrong. So I'll click this and click this so that I know where this actual this is like actual center. Yeah. And then if I compare, if I click and compare it, this okay, sorry. Click this and compare it to this. I have 11 pixels as a gap. Compare I have 23 pixels. So I'll probably increase this one because it means this one is going to be smaller. Yeah, now they are almost the same. Now what I want to do next is um, add some border radius. I'm going to add a border radius of um, 30 pixels so I can come here, just select this, come here, type 30 like this, and you can see the border radius around it. Also this one to the same thing, border radius of 30. Also this one to border radius of 30. You know, 11 actually is showing us the importance of border radius as they have border radius around almost all the windows. And then everybody was like, whoa, that's nice. But that's something that has been in web design for a very long time. But Microsoft is also embracing it to show us that. But I don't know what they are trying to show us. Yeah, what they are trying to show us. So I'll come here and I'll add a drop shadow. So I'll take away the border quickly. And then I'll add um, a drop shadow. So that you see the neat. It makes it, it gives it the damn modding feel. Take away the border and then I'll add a little drop shadow. You can actually change the color of the drop shadow. I'm not really worrying about that for now. And let's drag, drag, drag and drop some images into these nine shapes that we have here. Starting with this very first picture, I'll drop it in. 
um, I'll drop this next one in here I'll drop this next one in here now I want to actually obviously um, edit the images so I'll come here so if you come and you double click and then it's giving you this this is what you can use to edit the ship but that is not what we want you have to actually edit the image you can hold control and double click so you cannot get access to the real picture in there I want the person's hair to come fully so I'll kind of do it like this and yeah, maybe also expand it this way so I have it fully in there like that bring it down yeah somewhere this one is going to be the middle come here hold control double click like that and then we can have him why are you smoking don't smoke son smoking is not good okay I also drag it out a little bit like this yeah and then that's fine that's what you're doing and then this one I also hold control and double click that's a nice picture. Whoever to the pictures has done a really good job. Yeah. Let's forget about the particular images. The concept is what I actually want us to um, focus more on. Now, as you can see here, I'll just bring this one down. I want to have more. So I'm going to select this. Hold shift and select this and select it. And also I'm going to hold alt and shift to drop everything down. I mean, I want duplicates. Yeah, so this is our gallery. I'm not worrying about the images or whatever part of the picture is there. I just you can go to unsplash search for an image and just drag and drop them in quickly and we are good to go if you look at the real um, website as in we've done all the way to here let's look at the books add the education part add this part and then we are probably down for the day then look at how to resize it to um mobile view okay so let's go we're looking at this and um, books part i'll drag these ones again because this is going to be our little container also i need more room so i'll pull this one down and then I'll come all the way here. I'll go, click this, click this, and click that. Now, because I'll be using this often, it's better I make it a component or I make it a group. So I'll just hold Control and then G, like this. And then I, I just made a group. I'll call this group. I'll double click. I'll just double click on it to rename. So I double click on it, and I'm going to call this one heading um, heading secondary, yeah, like that. What I do is I'm going to just zoom out like that. Zoom out, hold shift and just drag one. Hold shift and um, alt and drag one down here so I can actually work with it. I'm going to do double click this. Now you see, when you have a group like this and you click, it selects the group. It doesn't select the individual items in the group. You can select the individual items by just holding control and selecting the particular item. So like this, I mean, I've selected about us. You can see it here. Unlike first, if I just click, it selected the head secondary straight away. So I can just hold control target the about us and click it and after that I can double click it and just say books yay and once again I also want to edit so I'll hold control select the blue one and then shift select this one as well and then I'll move this one inward because that makes sense now and now we're going to create the cards to be able to take care of the books that we have there and this is how we're going to go about it how are we going to go about it I'm going to just take this one like this drag it out drag it out like this and um, select my select to move it all the way here um, also i had some test that said let me go copy the test i've i also forgot i had it um, this year so here are some book control c and then i'll have control v paste them neatly the font let's do the font quickly it's not popping it's actually um also quickly like that it is not light it is actually bold and I should maybe create a component for this so I don't have to worry that will be another video here are some books that have impacted me hold me to get my select to bring it all the way up like this yeah and then I want to give it a border radius of, I'll take away the border once again, border radius of 30 pixels, as you can see like that. And I also have a little drop shadow on it, yeah. And the first thing I'm going to, I'm going to um, divide it into various portions. So I'm going to, first of all, make the color a little bit grayer so we can actually differentiate it from other stuff. And then I'm going to bring a little small rectangle within it, um, vein like this, and then I'll bring it so that it snaps. I'll expand for it to snap like that. And what I'll do is that because I want here to be kept for these borders, I'm just going to come to the border radius here, take away the border first of all. And the border, I'm going to click on here. 
Now this first one starts from the right column here and the second one continues here clockwise. This one goes here and then this one goes here. So if I just put um, 30 only here, you can see the left side is done. If I add another 30, again, the right side is done. And then I'll hold shift and select this as well and make sure they are perfectly aligned at the top in the center. All right, now if I have this selected, I can go to my um, downloads and I have some images. Where are those images of the books? Yeah, here they are. I'll just hold one this way and then drag it into that shape neatly. And then as you can see, it fits just perfectly. And what next, I'm going to just add some text. Um, the book's title is 365 um, Days with discipline you should try reading this book it's a very nice book i haven't read it myself maybe i will read now i want the font size obviously a little bit smaller i'm going to take um, 20 and i'll hold shift i think the letter spacing yeah i realized it let's close it this and then hold shift and then also center it neatly here move it a little bit up yeah and then i'll hold t again to bring my um my author the author of this book was martin meadows control c copy and control v paste it in the my backspace here now i have to change the font size to um poppins and then i want something very thin so i'll just say light where is it I'll just say light and I'll see the font size somewhere smaller. So I'll say 18 or even 15, or it has to be smaller. Also, try to center it. So I'll select the whole box and then click center for it to get centered. Click on here and move it nicely. Five like that. And then take my test tool and then just drag and then drop in some dummy test. If I go on here, I can just copy some test. Control C, just paste it in there like that, and I'm done. I can ho just hold V to extend the length of my this one. And what I'll do next is also I need this, so I'll just come here and make this a component. I'll just group them, Control J, and I'll call them BTM primary. It's my main BTM, so I can just come this way all the way here, and then hold it and drag it here. Now you see it happens to go behind this. There are so many ways to do with it, but the simplest way to do it is just hold this and drag it all the way to the top. So now, yeah, by stack, it comes here. And then I have to really work on it. So I'll just select the download CV by holding control and clicking here to just select that one particularly. Double click it now and just say read more. Also the button I think is too big. I'm just going to scale it down. Change the font size also to somewhere around where is it? Where is the font size? Font size to somewhere around also and um, 16 like that. So I can even bring the rectangle down much more. Hold shift and select the one and then center it neatly. Now I'll hold the whole button and bring it to the middle. Go up a little bit so it looks perfectly well. And bring this color back to the original white that it's supposed to be and yeah we are there so i'm going to call all this one group but i'm not going to group it for now i'm just going to select all the individual items yeah and then i'll select the whole thing i'll hold shift alt and duplicate this and guess just make three copies quickly oh i could even make four I'll group this one for now. Also group this one for now. Also group this one for now. And then what I get to do right now is I just get to align them quickly, bring this one to the middle. Good is that I, I should actually even make the size bigger. Let me just do that quickly. I wasn't thinking about that, but let's just make it so that it fits perfectly well. I'm 
then this and I'll center them quickly in the middle and then I can select this test tool like this and drag it and drag it and then one thing let me align this test center by clicking here to align the center also align this also align this let me get rid of this too also drag and drop this one here yeah so i can just select this particular box this way by holding control and selecting this and then what i do is i can just come here and drag this picture in there and the picture is replaced hold control and select the image here and then hold and drag and drop this one in there and the image is not that not that image wrong image drag and drop this one here and then i'm done so I'm not going to edit the test in here, but as of now, we can see the progress we've made so far. It's actually really nice knowing if you go um, around things this quickly. And I'm not really spending time to um, get to the nitty gritty. If I was designing a project for someone, I'll take my time to make sure it was um, pinpoint. But then I have to make this video short because you might get bored and click away from me. So let's go quickly to the next stage where I'm going to be looking at. If you look at the website, from here we are going all the way to the, this part this education button i'm going to do it quickly 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 and then we are on our way what i'm going to do straight away is um, um select this thing here hold shift and alt and then duplicate it and bring one over here and when i come here i'm just going to bring it down this way hold control control and select the books and just double click again once again i'm going to type education education quickly in here and then i'll select my this and this hold shift select that one and then hold shift again once again drag it all the way here so it looks perfect and when i come here like this what do i have to do next i have to just bring those i'm going to click this and draw my rectangle neatly take away the border border radius of 30 pixels like that i think i can even go more let me say 40 or oh, 30 is fine <laughs> of 30 this way and then i'm going to um bring it up this way 30 i think it's been too much let me just give it 20. yeah it shouldn't look too round it yeah that's it and then i'm going to bring my t and just type um bachelor of business administration and that happens to be the course i'm offering in university so the font size i'm going to scale it up in 20 20 20 is fine 20 is fine and I'll, I'll bring it here click this click this hold this and click so as you can see right now you realize that this um, 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 rectangle happens to be in this particular group the group of where the rectangle is and that's not what it's supposed to be this rectangle is not supposed to be in this group so I have to drag it out of that group so I just drag it out so it is no longer in that group and then this test happens to be on here so i'll just drag it also on top of it this way and i'm good to go now hold hold this and hold shift i'm going to align them in the middle quickly i don't have to align it to the side move it um what did i just do align it here quickly and then this i'm going to just add a little drop shadow to it to increase the aesthetics drag all this one the way down like this and then click this, click this, hold or alt and shift, drag one down like this one, drag one down again, it snaps quickly, drag one down again quickly, and then I think I think I should add the border radius to it. And the the border to it. But then I'm going to add the border of maybe this color so it looks it still it still doesn't look appealing to me. Let me change the color. I'll Let me see this color. Well, that's cool. Let's take that color for now. Let's just leave the border on because it has to pop for you to be able to want to be able to click it. So that's it. We have that section down quickly. Let's move on to the next section. What I'm going to have next, I'm going to just have my footer. Mostly the footer. What I do is I'm the footer happens to be a darker color more often than not, or a color that is different from the whole background. So we're going to use um, in this case we're going to be using um, that blackish feel that we have as a game my rectangle i take my rectangle 
how can yeah eh, the footer is taking the whole page yeah so if you've seen it you've seen it i'm going to make the color of the footer and um, some a very dark gray color i'll take the border away i'll click here let me see black i don't want it to be fully black so i want it to be somewhere this color this perfect yeah and then i want this um if i right click on it what did they say send to for it so i can just uh, where is it i'll just say um send to front so it moved it all the way to the top for me instead of me clicking and dragging it away send to front brings it here for me cool right i know now let's continue we want to make our footer very simple and yet elegant that's the idea here as you can see this side and we can see this side what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one nice um box this way i'm going to give it a border radius of also 30. it has to get border radius of 30. and then i'm going to take away the border change the color i'll press this and then select this color the same color let me see what's the same color yeah it was and the border was white instead of this dark yeah it was this dark gray to give it some contrast so then i don't need this i don't need this anymore because i have this now i'll have a little drop shadow but then i'll change the color to somewhere let me see yep so you know something is actually floating all right i'm going to take my rectangle again and divide everything here Yeah, I'm going to divide everything here this way, just like you see. And I come here, what I do is I can just click here and make here also 30. And make here also 30. Like that. Take it up a little bit more. And then click here and then I'm going to drag it down a little bit more. And here I'm going to drop this image in there. I have to just drop one image. Which image do we choose to decide to use for that one? Aha, uh -huh. so this picture, let me just drop it in quickly. Yeah, the picture is in, but you don't really see, so I'm going to hold control and double click. Control and double click to edit the image. I want the image coming this way, at least the best you show. Yeah, that looks better. Now, if you look at the real thing, we have um, this, all this thing going on here. I'm doing CT and just say contact details. Contact details. I want the font to be um, Oswald, like this. I want the font size to be 30, and I want it to be bold. And finally, I want it to be centered. So I'll just click and select this, and then center it neatly over there. I can move it up a little bit, and then I can go to font awesome once again to get another um, thing I want. I want my envelope, my phone, and then my map marker so i'll say envelope oh envelope like that and search for it i don't know if i've already downloaded them i think i have yeah so you search for that and then you drag and bring them in here but make sure you don't drag it into anything just drag them into an empty area then they can appear there and once again you lock it so you don't have to worry about resizing I come here like this, I drag it down like that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just create a little box and drop them in it. So a little box, I want a little box. Give it some pattern of frames, a water radius of 20. Change the border color to blue. Increase the border size to probably fall this way. And whole vein, drop another one. I mean, I want this. Let me zoom in. This. Yeah. Let's take away the fill of that. So I click that, click this, and then I want them to align the middle quickly like that. And then there we go. To be frank, I'll take away the color away. It doesn't make it look nice, it doesn't make it look professional. And I'll make it even black. I think black will do. Yeah, and I also bring back the fill. 
only I'll bring this one on top of it. And the border radius for the thing should be probably not 20 bucks. Then I'm maybe sure I'm designing a whole new website, trust me. Now I want the same thing down there, so I'll click, I want the box, hold alt, hold shift, and then bring the box down again. Hold alt, hold shift, and bring another box down again. Move it up, then move this one down. Yeah, that is it. So I have to bring the other um, um, items in here. And what I, I'm going to bring um, the phone, and I'm also going to bring the map marker. Quickly, I'm going to lock it and drag it here. Scale it down. Bring this one here. Lock it. Zoom in. I hold out, scale everything down quickly. Bring it here. Hold out again. Scale it down. Zoom in. Yeah. Very good. Hold out, scale it up a little bit. Come, click this one. Bring it here. Hold out scale it down towards the middle. Alt scale the stuff towards the middle, and that's why I'm holding out to scale it towards the middle. Yeah, so that's it. I hold T and the email. I'm just going to say cable sapo. And email.com. You can contact me. I'm always there. Moving this way. I want the phones to be um, popping actually. And I don't want it to be bold, I want it to be regular. So you can hold Alt, Shift, and drop, drop one here, also drop one there. And actually increase, include the details that you want. The next thing is to send a message. I'll just hold this, hold Alt, hold Shift, and bring it here. Change the color to white quickly. And then I'll just say send a message. Send a message like that and then it's in there so guys i'm very sorry but my my pc froze and then everything just i lost everything so i'm going back to the original floor where i did the actual design for the person and i've deleted some stuff so that i can work on it and then like finalize it and then the thing is that we're almost done the only thing left is bringing this to um, the responsive view i mean the mo mobile view so let me just get straight to it all right i'm going to zoom in quickly and i'll take i'll press r to get my rectangle um, to I'll just draw this rectangle nicely. Take um, away the fill. I want the, the border is okay. Border radius of 30 pixels, like this. And let me zoom in. I think I'll reduce the height here a little bit. Control that is this I want. Move it up a little bit. I want it centered, so I'll click that one, shift and center it neatly. I take T and then click here and I'm going to just type um, full full name quickly. Um, the font size, as you already know, is popping, it's not impact. When I was then the item, I didn't have um, this one installed. Light and then I want the font size to be 16 pixels. Oh, well, you know, let me just make it um, 18. And the color should also be this dark color here. All right, so I'll click that and select this. I'll make sure I align it quickly in the middle like that. And then I move here, like this. And then I'll group this. I don't want to go to the space. So I'm just going to hold Alt Shift and drop it down here. 10 pixels in between. Well, let's make it 15. Hold Shift, drop it, and it will snap for me. Then I know I'll move it again, and it snaps for me. So yeah, I'm going to have, instead of that, first of all, full name. I'm going to have email address. How do you spell address? Is it double D? Address is double D. Email address, yeah, double D, double S. I also have your telephone. I need your telephone number to so telephone quickly. And then I could have finally message. Now the message, if I'm using HTML, I'm going to be using the text area. So. Extend this a little bit, drag this down, also drag this down, and then I'll have, yeah, and then drag this one down, because that'll be the message area. And I have to go all the way to the top, select this, and um, 
bring it all the way down here bring it all the way down here come here drag this down i think i should increase this all the way to the bottom bring it somewhere here to the middle and then drag this here yes and you're done with our contact page all right so as you see this is just straightforward it's easy i have it done it's just only about the design for now let me increase here and i'll take this again now let me use white alt shift to duplicate and copy one downwards and i'm going to say follow me on social media here yeah? Yep, only my follow has an E instead of a W. Yeah, so what I'm going to, I'm going to have to recreate all my social media um, brands again. So I'll take my ellipse, ellipse tool, hold shift to draw a perfect circle somewhere around here. I'm going to take away the border. No, I, you are in the border. I'll have the border to be white in this case. So instead of not having any border, make it two pixels. And now the color will have to vary depending on the social, social media icon I'm dealing with here. I'm using Facebook, so Facebook that's the very first one. I'm gonna you can go online and just search for um, Facebook's um, hex desk code or RGB. I have it here, so I don't have to go anywhere. So it's, it's 3B5998. Yeah, that's it. I'll make the border 3 pixels all the way through. And I'm thinking about something, but I already have my social media icon. So you let me just drag and drop them. Once again, I'll lock it. Once again, I'll bring it here. I'll hold out, drag it in. Change the color here to white. It's white I'm dealing with. Change the color here. Drag it down a little bit. Hold shift, center it neatly. Here and here. And here. And then I think I would like to give a little drop shadow to this. Yeah. And then what I'll do is I'll hold here and bring one here and also bring one here this will be instagram so instagram's color happens to be c32 a 3 like that and twitter happens to be um 1d a 1 f 2 yeah so i'll just go quickly and try to um, bring in those icons i have instagram here and then I also have Twitter to X Twitter. Yeah, Twitter here. Lock in the Twitter. Bring it here. Take my Instagram. Lock it in. Bring it here. Hold out. Drag it towards the middle. Zoom in. I want the color to be white. Hold shape, select this, center it neatly. Here and here. Hold this. Change it to white. It's already locked. I'm guessing. Yeah. And then I'll just hold out, drag it down. I want something very tiny. Hold shift, select here. Center it. Yeah. No, not that. This and this, select it. And then I'll center it neatly. I'm grouping each item. Control G. Hold this. Hold this control G and then I have one, two, three groups. And then I'll have this. No. I'll have one, two, three, one group, and then I'll have with this competitor and I'll just center it too. Yeah, and then also I'll just center this neatly. Then I can bring them up like this. Select this. Also select this. And then yeah, next thing I have to just have the copyright information like this. Then I'll make that one have a full color of black. That's the border. I don't even need the border. Black, yeah. I don't need the border. T and I can, I could just write copyright at printing to 
system all right reserve Click here and click here. Alright guys, so this is pretty much it for when it comes to the um, desktop view. It's straightforward, it's simple. I hope you are really learning something. Let me just go straight to how to get this down on one view. Now that we have everything down for here, all we have to do is just we bring everything and rearrange them nicely for the mobile view so it's going to be straightforward the only thing i'm going to do new is creating my navigation button and also my new um, navigation on how it will look when it slides in that's going to be very easy let me get that one down quickly and then we are done for this video i know it's already a long video so to create a mobile view i have to get the mobile um artboard i don't want this one is for the um, desktop i have to get the one that resembles the mobile view so i'm going to click come here this is the artboard tool. If I click on it, you see what happens. If I see mobile, these are all the options that I get. I have tablet, I have the web tool, and I also have watches here. Yeah? So I'm going to go to the mobile aspect and I'm going to select I am the photograph. I think this one is more common. iPhone X, XS, X, and then 11 Pro. They all have the same dimension. So I'll just click on that and then it comes there neatly like that. To be frank, more of you are going to be doing a lot in there. So Let's just get to it quickly and then let's get First thing I want to do is that uh, I want to actually create my button. The button that was hovering when the mobile view. And to do that, I'll just need a little el ellipse. So I'll select my ellipse to hold shift and draw a round circle like this. And I'll take away the border, add some little drop shadow. And then we are almost there. Now what is the height and width? I can see 81, 81. That's, I think it's too big. I'll lock the sides and then I'll change this to, let me say, 50 yeah press v to get my select tool and i'll fix this somewhere around here the next to get a strokes that are in there to get a strokes i'll click um this and just draw something like this what i did i take away the border and change the color to this dark color that we have here yeah now the height of the 10 is five i'll change it to four uh, i think four yeah like that or even three and then I'll hold it and select this tool and make sure it's centered neatly like this. Now I'll hold Halt, Shift. I'm duplicating it down like this. And I'll duplicate another one once more. And then hold Shift, group them. Hold Shift, select this, and then make sure I center them neatly like that. Yeah, but I think I could get some working here. Move this one up by two. Move this one up by one. Yeah, and move this one here down by okay, let's see. Move this one down by one. Yeah. So this, this, and let's see, centered. Okay, so as you can see, I think maybe I should consider bringing them here. This way, and then. So you see, it's already done here, and we have speed for it. Now I'm going to click here like this and also hold Alt and just shift and then just duplicate this neatly. And I'm going to show how it's going to look if we bring it, if we, um, we click on that button. So to do that, to be frank, I just, I'm just bringing it side, nice side um, nav here. So I'll click on this. I should have grouped everything. Control G. Select this. Select home, about, books, education, contact. And then this and then hold out and hold shift and drag them all the way here so they fit in then yep i'm going to also drag them down like not that not, not that way all right now what i want to do is there's a background let me just go in and work, work my way there one by one i'll hold i'll probably be locking this and dragging it down here yeah. yep so I, I want this centered here and then I also want 
yeah so that makes sense i have to bring it all the way here i'm going to zoom in quickly and then i'm going to make all my sd changes i'll come back to this place again select this whole group it's fixed so i'm going to bring it down one more time i think it was too big and i'll leave it somewhere here select this and bring it down somewhere here very good and i'm going to let me just move them quickly i'll i'll get them i'll get them let me just select the contact and see and bring to front yeah and move in here and what i'll do is i'm going to make sure this one fits perfectly so yep like this and i'll zoom in a little bit bring this one here bring this one so hold this hold this hold this hold this hold this hold this and let me hold this and i'll say center this for me yep and then it does that bring this one in bring this one also in and then i'm going to just drag this one and bring them also here so i'm probably done and then this and this should probably be one group i'll hold alt and shift and drag and drop it here like that so yeah that way if you click this how it's going to be this one is going to all this thing is going to happen the next thing is rearranging everything here and I, I know maybe i should throw this for you um as a challenge for you guys to see how you guys will really fare with this but i guess i'll start and then we'll see how it works it's all about bringing everything here and then rearranging everything so i'll come this way um i'm going to center everything because i'm dealing with a, a phone size so should be 30 pixels it should be centered someone should also reduce a little yeah and it should be centered they should be centered aligned and also be centered So guys, that is it. I, 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 I would like you guys to take the rest as a challenge and try to brief and put everything in order for um, the mobile view. And please let me know if you actually get any challenges whilst doing that. Once again, thank you so much for taking to the end of this video. The real um, content starts when we start coding the HTML and adding all the shaders and bringing the JavaScript to make everything look so seamless and so nice. Thank you so much once again. Please do want to um, drop a, um, a, a thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't so that you don't miss out on the other videos that are coming out. And very much I do guys. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care.